Hello, Chris here again from the garage. Uh, I'm waiting for some last parts for the CNC milling machine build. So I can't really shoot any videos of that. But I have for a long time uh, felt that the layout for the Mac 3 program that I'm using to control the CNC machine with is a little bit old looking. So I have been scanning the, the internet and found something a little bit better. So I thought I should uh, show you a little bit how you are making your own screen sets for Mac 3 uh, and uh, yeah, changing the layout and, and making everything to work. So let's dive into Mac 3 here and other programs that I have been using. Okay, as you know, if you are a Mac 3 user, this is the original layout. A lot of different colors, a lot of texts and uh, all the things that I need it is not really included and a lot of things that I don't need is included so that's why I was looking for something better looking where I could implement my needs and uh, on YouTube I found this is from Physics Anonymous who has made a really good looking uh, screen and I think he has copied uh, the base from Mac Tree's homepage and then uh, at least I know that he have changed the language and maybe also a little bit in the layout so and he's so kind so i give a big thanks to him that he has a, a link so you can download this so if you just want to use it you can just download it and then use it uh, i wanted to make some changes and the way i have done it is that i have been using corel draw which is a graphic program that i familiar with but you can use whatever you want and so in this case you are just drawing like a, a picture and in this picture you put in every thing you want but this is just like a picture so uh, and why I have not just copied the, the one that I found on YouTube is that I wanted to remove some buttons, add some buttons, yeah, make a little bit changes and in this way when I have been drawing everything like a picture in my program I can easily go here and delete buttons and, and add buttons, change text, script, locations, yeah, whatever I need but this is just like a background and to be able to get this into a screen I have been using uh, Mac screen which is a screen editor I know there is other ones and this is not bug free but yeah I I think it has worked for me and as you can see here in the background I have put my picture that I have been that I draw in, in Corel Draw and then you can see all these dotted lines and these you can if you press on them you can of course change the size you can move them so these need to be placed where you want these things to happen so so it doesn't really have anything to do with the background the, the screen is is uh, doing what you are telling him to do in this program so in, in this program you then uh, draw um, insert whatever you want and then you have here on the side you have the code 
that you want it to do and uh, you also have a, a couple of buttons up here where you can align them so they are straight up and down and side to side and so on and uh, in my case I did also choose the the background of like these number uh, number areas so the background is matching exactly the same color that I have been using in Corel Draw, which means that you will not see the background, it seems like the text is just written on this area. So uh, so then you need to, so here you are doing like your design, putting all, all, all things you want to do and if you want to have macros and everything. And uh, up here you can then change between uh, between these uh, sides or the, the tabs uh, that you have in Mac so it's like different pages and you can of course add more pages and, and delete uh, for me I have actually just changed the front page the other pages is, is good enough for me so for now I will will be using them uh, so and also when you are uh, satisfied with the, yeah with all the buttons and so on and of course this will take a couple of tries before you get everything to work like you want it so after that after you have saved it you need to export of course this screen setting uh, and all the pictures to the to the mac3 folder on your computer and if we then move to to Mac 3 and you then go up to view load screens and here you see I'm in the Mac 3 folder and under that one I have this Chris version 1 so when you open that one you will get this picture in the background that uh, I have been drawn and then you can see you can when you're hovering over the, the different buttons you can press them and they will do what you have told them to do in the in the Mac 3 program or in the in the what was it named it was Mac screen program yeah there is where you are programming all the, the buttons uh, so in this way you can uh, do whatever you want you can use whatever fonts you like which colors you can move all the buttons and here you have like the two layouts i will see with the tools here you have the, the g code showing and uh, yeah here you have the location the DROs, and uh, uh, you have also the probe c that i have changed to an own uh, not on program but it's another macro that I found online that I will be using for automated uh, probe C when I'm changing the tool. So a, a big thanks to Physics Anonymous. Yeah, I can put the link in the description so you can find that one. And uh, yeah, leave a comment if you like this video and if you have any questions I will try to help you and uh, please hit the subscribe button uh, that is appreciated and uh, thanks for watching